you watching this video right now, yes you, you have the ability to live your dream life, to do what you love, to live your purpose, and it's much easier than you think. And if I would have known these five vibrational secrets sooner, when it comes to manifestation, it would have changed my whole life. I probably would have gone full-time on YouTube two or three years before I did. It would have saved me time and energy because I tried so hard for a long time. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the five vibrational secrets that made manifestation so much easier for me and how you can easily apply it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be saving you a lot of time and energy when it comes to learning these five vibrational secrets that when you learn, change everything when it comes to manifestation. Now in general, just to clarify this, a lot of times they say that you have to want it, you have to really desire it, but realize this isn't so much about desire because anything we want, we lack. It's not so much that you get in life that which you want, but you always get in life a reflection of who you are, of who you are being. Now, this is key for what I'm sharing with you because the law of attraction many times does not talk about identity. It does not talk about our whole vibrational being of who we are being. When people watch the movie The Secret, which I did, and that was a huge awakening for me was watching that, but I thought it was all about thinking and it was mainly a surface level thing and this is not about thinking better thoughts. This is about understanding the vibrational uh, energy of who you are but also in who you are being in reality. Now the first vibrational secret that changes everything once you understand it and it's kind of a paradox. It's the more you are attached to the anything, the, least, the less you are to actually attract it. So the more, think about it like this, the more you are attached to what people think of you, the less they are to like you because you're putting out this resistance of neediness. You're putting out a resistance of caring and because of that, you are then tuning yourself to them and they can feel that because it doesn't feel authentic. I know when I first started making videos on YouTube, there was a point of when I felt blocked because I was trying really hard to get people to like me or think about me in a certain way and the more I would try, the more I would resist. Even on YouTube, when I would try to make a video to go viral, they wouldn't go viral. But when I was just being, when I was just less attached to what people thought and even less attached to how the videos did, those videos would do the best. Anytime I've really, really wanted something, I've infused a lot of resistance into it and it's actually ended up blocking it. So the vibrational secret to this is instead of wanting, focus on being, focus on being in the moment. And we'll talk more about this at another vibrational secret as well, but it's about uh, not putting things on a pedestal, but also realizing making it natural, which is very important for this process. Now, the second vibrational secret that I wanna share has to do with your base point vibration. Every one of us have, has a base point vibration for how we feel. Now, back in 2012, I felt as my base point vibration on a scale of one to 10, with 10 feeling amazing and one feeling not great at all, I felt at about a three to a four or five out of 10 consistently. If I were to smoke or drink, I'd feel temporarily at about a five or a six, and then it would draw back and I would fall back to like a three or a four, and that was my base point. And a funny thing would happen, if something happened in my life where I would feel a six or a seven, I would feel anxious about it and I would sabotage myself. I would think I didn't deserve it or something. And what that had is that had me then falling back down into low vibration. Now, one of the things that happened is I learned meditation and from the inside out, my base point vibration began to raise. And once that happened, my whole entire life began to change. Now, the reason this is, is because we have a safety mechanism in place that keeps us in familiar emotions. And if we were used to being in lower vibrational emotions like anger or shame or guilt, then feeling beyond that, it's like we, we our nervous system starts freaking out. It's like, this isn't natural for me. So one of the biggest keys and vibrational secrets when it comes to understanding this process is you will sabotage yourself until you become aware of your blocks and your beliefs that are keeping you in low vibration. There's a payoff you may get from being 
in low vibration. The payoff is comfortability. This feels like childhood. So one of the biggest things I can share with you is once you remove that block, everything changes. And a powerful way I found to do this is through meditation. And there's also specific meditations that really help. Now, one thing that may make a huge difference for you is there's a free quiz you can take called whatsmyvibration.com. I'll link it below. You take that quiz, it calibrates your vibration, and it gives you a meditation for removing the blocks that are having you sabotage yourself. So this is a way to find out more about your vibe and a way of having a meditation that's personalized to your experience to help you elevate your vibration to a higher state because how you feel has a big powerful effect on how you are showing up in the world and what you end up experience. So that's another, and think about it too. We've got thinking, feeling, and acting. How do you think, feel, and act determines your vibration. So the thinking is the stories we tell ourselves. It's the beliefs we have. And then we have that of the feeling. How do we feel? Meditation will allow us to feel things before they actually happen. All the emotions that we would want to experience in our life already exist inside of us. All we have to do is focus on it and go through like a meditation process or tap into that version of us and then we begin to allow that energy into our life. We get an equal reflection to what we're putting out. So if you want to experience a reality, think of it like a radio dial. If you want to experience a reality where you're doing what you love, you are in your ideal frequency, then knowing that that reality already exists and then tuning to it from the inside out, that will help you to then create a different reality on the outside. Now the third vibrational secret that would have saved me so much time on this process is understanding the energy of being in your passion. Just recently, I created an app. I spent $50,000 to create this app so that we could all connect together. And from there, I also was creating something else that was a way for us to like uh, do like monthly meditations and all this stuff. And what I realized is that this was something I thought I should do because I thought it was a cool way for us to connect together. But what I realized is it was a distraction for me actually doing what I'm passionate about. What I'm passionate about is live events. It's connecting with all of you. It's live coaching. It's things like this that I was in a way kind of sabotaging myself into getting distracted in complexity rather than keeping it simple. The things that do best are the things you are most passionate about and you have to simply trust it. So what I do, that I double down and I the sunken ship and uh, fallacy or whatever, I'm like, I already spent all this money over here, I have to keep doing that. I said, you know what, I'm most passionate about doing live coaching with people every single month. The other thing I'm passionate about is doing live events, is being with people and having people to like work with. So I'm like, I'm gonna focus on this because this is what I'm most passionate about. And that's a new question I've been asking myself. Even my friend Victor and I, we have a company where we help people go full-time doing what they love. I was like, what is the most passionate thing we could be doing in helping people? So that's the answer, not all these other ways we could go about things. The more I've committed to that, the more magic it's become. I committed to daily videos in 2017. Changed my entire life. And it's because I knew I was passionate about that, even though it was kind of scary to be putting out that energy and to like putting myself in front of people. So your passion is something that deep down you know. You know the answers. You know what your passion is if you allow yourself to stop telling yourself, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And once you begin to remove those blocks, it'll become very clear to you. So that's the third thing. Now the fourth thing that will help you is understanding this one idea. Now, this was a huge pivotal game changer for me. It's understanding that you get in life a direct reflection of what you believe you deserve. Let me say that again. The degree to which you receive is the degree to which you believe you deserve. If you believe that you deserve somebody in your life that takes advantage of you, then you will allow that. And not only will you allow that, but you'll expect it subconsciously. If you believe that you only uh, are in relationships with, with men or women that treat you bad or um, you, you choose emotionally unavailable people or you are finding that uh, you're only, you only deserve a nine to five job that you're not passionate about, then that will be your reality. What do you believe you deserve? That's something that you wanna become aware of. Can you receive more than you priorly had in the past? Do you believe you deserve it? Now here's a pivotal game changer. Become aware of the story you have about what you believe you deserve and realize that you are worthy for just being you. That's it. You exist and therefore you are worthy. Everything in our reality has a purpose. The trees have a purpose. 
the air, the ground, the con everything here has some type of purpose that works beautifully and symbiotically with the rest of reality. The universe does not make mistakes. And the universe did not make a mistake with you. You are worthy and all you have to do is be you. You just have to be you. That's it. And it sounds cliche, I know, but realize you deserve everything in your life and you deserve even more. And if you're resonating with this message, if this was maybe a, a, a game changer for you or this idea is something you want to wire in, like this video and comment below and let us know. Say, I am worthy. It's a way of powerfully wiring that in for yourself. Now, the fifth vibrational secret that changed everything is understanding that anything you give excess importance to, you put on a pedestal. And when you put something on a pedestal, you create vibrational resistance with it. The key to this is making it natural. Make it natural for you to experience the love in your life. Make it natural. By the time you receive it, you know, now that I've created my dream life, that I live in Sedona and Austin, and I, I get this freedom to like travel the world. And for years now, I've been making a great amount of abundance. What I realized is back in the day, if I could have imagined now, I would have bought a Lamborghini or a whole bunch of like stuff that wouldn't matter. Now that I'm in it and it's natural for me, I don't want any of that stuff. By the time you experience it, it will be natural. And the key to this is focus more on the being. There are people that win $100 million in the lottery that then become depressed because money's not the answer. There are people that sell their company for $100 million and they are depressed because they don't, they're not in their purpose. Let this be more about the journey and realize that it will be natural for you by the time you experience it. And knowing that helps it to take it off a pedestal, to realize this isn't about wanting that thing over there, it's about becoming that version of you where it is natural. And we have meditations for that as well. If you haven't checked it out, uh, you'll see meditations for decreasing importance. I have a meditation on YouTube you can check out for that. And uh, other than that, let me know if you guys like this video. If you want more numbered videos like this that kind of like run through these different things, kind of solidify you time and everything. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And as always, I shall talk to you guys on the next one. Peace, much love, and namaste.